This is my Generac Home One solar charging setup. I have a 200 watt solar panel in the background connected in parallel. So they are 100 watts each. And I'm charging my, I'm gonna charge my scooter, MacBook, and the DeWalt 6 amp battery at the same time using its um, AC power output. There are three AC outlets, but I'm only using two at this time. And the USB it has two USB type C outputs, which is connected to the MacBook Pro. However, this thing is not 60 watts output. It's like 18 watts from these two USB C. So I would highly recommend you guys get a car charger like this and put it into the 12 volt adapter. Therefore, you get a well, probably get a 65 watts output. And of course, uh, each section is controlled by one button press, and that's the display to display uh, of the output and the input. I'm, I'm only getting 22 watts right now because it's really cloudy right now. Uh, I was able to max out 200 watts when it was a sunny day. So this scooter has a massive battery bank down there and is, uh, is pulling a lot of power. Let, let me disconnect the DeWalt charger for now. As you can see, it's draining 141 watts of power uh, to the scooter by adding the DeWalt charger. Actually, it is a combined um, output of the DC and AC power. Oh, okay, so that's 333 watts from the DeWalt charger and to the um, battery of the scooter. And the solar input is a Anderson port, which is pretty standard among uh, battery banks and solar charging setups. So that's how you plug it in like this. And that's the round adapter is um, wall charger, or if you want to use one single solar panel, you can do this as well. So that's one panel setup, 100 watts. It also features a nice handle. The total capacity of the battery bank is 1000 watt hour. And there's nothing on this side. Let me show you a few more details over here. Additionally, plugging in a USB device. Uh, there are lots of ports over here with QC3 compatible chargers and the uh, power output will increase. This is a massive 20,000 milliamps battery bank. Yeah, and the total output is 1000 watts. As long as we don't exceed that, that's fine. And for solar panels, There is a pocket in the back, and these ports has uh, 18 watts output. That's a Type C and USB Type A. Uh, I, I believe these are shared, so you you can directly use this solar panel with the uh, USB devices, and it has a kickstand in the back. It can be easily folded like this in a briefcase design. And here's the tip, always pointing the panels directly at the sun and don't use them indoor. Therefore, you have the maximum efficiency. They have magnetics here. So when they are closed, they will stay cl closed. As you can see, these two cables are joined together connected in parallel by this adapter from Generac. It is also part of the product. Yeah, nice handle. It's not too heavy. Uh, yeah, it's a great solution for off-the-grid living, emergency, power backup, and uh, work off the grid. With these uh, two panels, you should be able to handle a lot of um, smaller electronics or even power your DC fridge from this port and charge power tools um, 
it should be able to handle uh, a circular saw, a quarter circular saw as well. And I'm not even maxing out that uh, total 1000 watts. All right. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate the support. Thank you.